On Tuesday, we found out that the U.S. home sales dropped by the most nearly in nearly four and a half years in March. The U.K. employment growth slowed in March, but the German zoo survey showed that the mood among German investors improved in April. As concerns about the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on Europe's largest economy seem to have eased. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we'll be looking at the UK and Canada's CPI numbers. Today, I'm looking at the Euro Yen pair, which has not been able to break below the key support level of 117 after days of consolidation. If the support holds strong, this could turn into a double bottom bullish reversal chart pattern, bringing the pair back up to as high as 121. However, if the bears finally win the battle, doors will open before their drops towards the lows of 2016 at 111. We are still in the wait and see mode, eyeing the confirmation of either direction. Which direction do you think the pair will break out? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and I will get back to you with more updates tomorrow.